you must be having clock at home, at home, at school, anywhere you go. Today we are going to look at the clock. Now clock, are all the clocks of the same shape? No, there are circular ones, oval ones, square ones, yes, big grandfather's clock, all kinds of shapes, cuckoo clock, but all of them, all the clocks tells you time. So we are going to look at time, looking at the clock, learning to read, looking at the clock, looking at the hands of the clock, the numbers on the face of the clock and so on. Today is an interesting lesson. I am sure you love the clock. Now, not only clock tells you time, you have watches, wrist watches of different shapes and colors. They also are miniature clock that tells you time. The purpose of the clock is to help us to read time. Let's look and learn about the clock. Yes, look. Look at this. A lovely, huge, colorful clock. Now, this is a clock. What does the clock have, children? It has the numbers. Yes, it's called the dial. Clock dial. There are numbers. There are hands. Actually, there are one big, fat, thick hand and a long, thin hand. You also have a tiny one, also hand. Okay? Now, the dial, that is this, where the numbers are placed. The dial in the clock is divided into 12 divisions. Can you see 12 numbers? Yes. So, the dial in the clock is divided into 12 divisions. What are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, on the dial of a clock, you will find 12 numbers. Big and bold, you can read. Yes? And that's it. So, every time you look at the clock, look, if there are 12 numbers. 12 on the top, 6 will be down. Now, let's look at the main hands of the clock. How many hands have you? Two. Clock also has, a clock has two hands. Okay? One, two. The short hand, thick hand, fat hand, is called the short hand. It's called the hour hand. How many hours have gone by? How many hours you studied? So, the short Fat hand is called the R hand, and this long thin hand, the long hand is called the minute hand. Uh, every minute it keeps shifting from one to the other, one marker to the other. So the clock has two hands, a short hand which tells you the hour, the long hand tells you the minute. So you have the our hand, minute hand. Look at the face of the clock, the dial of the clock. Can you see some small, small, tiny lines? First you have the big number, then there are tiny lines. Let's look at any two numbers. Gap between any two numbers. Let's count the small divisions. One, two, three, four, five. So you take any two numbers, on the dial of the clock and you will find there are between any two numbers there are five small divisions. What do they say? The small divisions telling us the minute. So from here to here is one minute. So from six to seven you have one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. Between the two numbers when this long hand passes from this number to this, it has crossed five minutes. Okay? So, the gap between the two numbers has five small divisions telling us the minutes. 
So every time this many tan goes from here to here and here and here and here, from five to six, this is five minutes. So this is the many tan. Goes from one gap to the other, one division to the other. Yes? Yeah. So the clock is very interesting, isn't it? Let's go on. Now look. Look at this clock. Lovely little clock. Look at the numbers. Yes? Now, one hour. One hour is equal to six minutes. Okay? Now, I told you there are small divisions. Okay? It goes from here till here. It is 60 minutes. This minute hand goes from here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. This minute hand when it goes right round once, that is 60 minutes. It goes over every single small marking. When it goes once around, it makes 60 minutes. And that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. So this hour hand shift from 2 to 3, like that. So 1 hour, the hour hand shift from 2 to 3, it will take minutes. So, one hour is equal to how many minutes? 60 minutes. Are you enjoying the clock? Reading of time? Good. Then, let's look at some more. Look at the clock. Look at this clock. Can you read the time? The 12 numbers are there and the two hands are there. Can you see? The hour hand is on 1 and the minute hand is on 12. How do you read this, children? What time is it? It is good, lunch time. One o'clock. The short hand is on one. And the minute, that is the hour hand. The minute hand is on twelve. And we read this clock as one o'clock. One o'clock. Now you know how to read the time on the clock face? Good. Let's go on. Now. The hour hand has shifted from 1 to 2. And the minute hand has come right around here. What's the time now? The minute hand is here on 12. The hour hand is on 2. What time is it, children? 2 o'clock. You read it as 2 o'clock. Next, the hour hand goes into 3. How do you read this? Code. 3 o'clock, when it is on the 3, the hour hand, we say 3 o'clock. And the minute hand is on 12. We read this time as 3 o'clock. Good. Next, the hour hand comes into 4. The minute hand is on 12. What time is it, children? It is 4 o'clock. Very good. So now you learn to read the time. Now, now the hour hand comes on 5 and the minute hand is on 12. What time is it? How do we read? Now it is good, 5 o'clock. So we read it as 5 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock. Play time. Next, the hour hand shifts from 5 to 6 and the minute hand it shifted to 12 again. How do you read this time, children? It is 6 o'clock. How do you read this? 6 o'clock. Prayer time. Good. Next, we are going to shift the hour hand onto 7. And the minute hand is on 12. What time is it, children? 7 o'clock. Yes. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, what do you do? Sit around with the family and have a nice chat. TV time or whatever. Next, we are going to shift the hour hand to 8. And the minute hand remains on 12. What time is it? How do you read this time? Good. 
8, 8 o'clock. What do you do at 8 o'clock? Dinner at 8 o'clock. Oh, very good. 8 o'clock. Good. Next, let us shift the other hand onto the number 9. And the minute hand is on 12. What time is it, children? Read. 9 o'clock. We read this as 9 o'clock. Bedtime for children. 9 o'clock. You must get into bed. The longer you sleep, the brain will grow. So we read this as 9 o'clock. Now, let's shift the other hand onto two. 10, number 10. And the minute hand remains on 12. Let's read this time. What is it? 10 o'clock. 10. We read this as 10 o'clock. You are already fast asleep. 10 o'clock. Let us shift the hour hand onto 11. Look. The hour hand is on 11. Minute hand is on 12. Let's read this time. Good. It is 11 o'clock. It is 11 o'clock. Finally, we take the hour hand onto 12, the minute hand also on 12. Now, you can't see one hand. Both are together. How do you read this time? What time is this? 12 o'clock. Very good. 12 o'clock. Now, that means we have passed 12 hours. Yes? So, the clock keep going on and on. But you must learn to read the time correctly. Did you enjoy this? Good.